Hi guys, it's Donna with Nurse Fair Tarot. Welcome. Um, I have started a new thing and we are doing weekly uh, Zodiac readings. And this is the last one. I know I'm late and I apologize. I will definitely have next week's out by Sunday, you know, early Monday morning, okay, for the for the for the next week. And we'll see how we go from there. I'm not sure what days to publish. I am working on trying to figure that out. Okay. So we are going to get straight into the reading. Uh, hope everybody is well. We've had another beautiful day here in Ontario. It has been absolutely gorgeous. So that has been nice. It's just kind of given me more energy, right? So it's just been fabulous. Oh, box and cards, throwing cards all over. <laughs> oh my goodness. All righty. Did you see that? <laughs> okay. So we are going to get started with your reading. Oh, and I think those ones want to stay up. Okay. So let's do this camera switcheroo and we'll get going. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so we've got the sun as the overall energy. We have the six of swords. This is the recent past. Six of swords, the eight of cups reversed. The knight of wands, then our current situation or energies, okay? Five of wands, the emperor. Six of coins. This is our immediate future. So the hanged woman, instead of the hanged man, it's the hanged woman in this deck. The four of wands and the two of wands. I will have all the decks listed below, okay? Um, yeah, so if you want them, you know where to get them, okay? Thank you. Um, yeah, so let's just take a look. We do have the sun that is shining brightly over you for this next week or so, okay? And it just feels awesome. I just feel like everything is bigger, better, more beautiful, more easy, more, just everything is better, you know? Um, just make sure that you are looking after you, that you don't get overtired, that you're not over, excuse me, overdoing it, okay? If you do overdo it, then I think that you know, you could burn out, right? The sun is fabulous, but it does burn if you let yourself get overexposed. So just be careful you're not overdoing it, okay? So recent past here, we have the Six of Swords, we have the Eight of Cups reversed, and we have the Knight of Wands, okay? So what I'm seeing here, I'm just going to move this like this so you can actually see that Knight of Wands. So what you're what I'm at, what you're at, what I'm seeing here, okay, for your recent past is I really feel that you are on your way to kind of exploring what you need to do, okay? Like uh, don't let fear hold you back, okay? Don't let fear stop you from keep from from keeping on moving forward, okay? Don't let fear uh, slam you down, right? You want to keep going. You don't want to stop. You need that resilience. You need that strength, okay? So keep pushing forward. Um, the Eight of Cups, I, I feel, is like, because it's reversed, it's like you're contemplating something here, okay? So you're deep in thought. It's an emotional thing. So it could be a relationship. It could be a job that you're not happy with anything like that. Okay. So something you're not really happy with something that doesn't feel exactly right. Okay. So I feel like you're contemplating what to do. All right. It feels like you want to walk away. You're not sure I'm going to walk away. No, I'm not. It's kind of like you're back and forth. You just can't make up your mind. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Wands. So that could be the person in your life that is you know, very busy, very, um, very creative, very excitable, very, you know, almost bigger than life, right? And sometimes, you know, they don't realize how much energy they take from you. 
okay and this can be a male or a female doesn't matter what the depiction is it can be a male or a female and it just means that they they're they just take a lot from you right or maybe you're not getting the attention you want from them because they can be a little self-centered so you know and i think this is what you're kind of debating on okay how that is working out for you um then our next row is kind of the present moment okay so what is going on right now what are you thinking about the what are the feelings the energies right now okay and i believe that five of wands is carrying over from this from your recent past the five of wands is still there you're still not sure what to do okay there is this internal tor turmoil and i feel that turmoil is really uncomfortable for you and you just don't know what to do. I don't know that you're fighting with anybody. You may have had words, but I just feel like you're, you feel like you're not being heard, okay? <laughs> um, I also feel like there's someone very important in your life, a uh, father figure, boss, something like that, that is gonna add some value to your life this week, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just gonna have a sip of uh, pop here. A bit of a tickle. So yeah. And then the six of coins is all about um, you know, doing things that add balance to your life. So bringing that balance to your life, okay? So really working on harmony, working on working well with people, working on doing things right for you and others around you. Um, yeah, like really really good things okay like really being part of something and really being important in that part okay total balance <clears throat> then the immediate future things something's going to come to a standstill and there's going to be a place where you're not sure what to do okay and sometimes not making a decision is a decision and maybe that's what you need to do. And maybe that's what that is about this relationship, right? Maybe you're not supposed to make a decision right now. And I think what you what you need more than trying to figure everything out, maybe you need some stability. You need some stability at work. You need some stability with your friends. You need some stability to make you feel grounded and help you feel like you can make good decisions, okay? So work on that. Maybe you need to work on your spirituality spend some time with people grow that way right and the two awards again right look at your outlook what is your outlook how can you um how do you define your life in the near future with the people that are in your life right what who is important who is who is making a difference in your life who can you trust who can you make plans with who do you depend on who do you not depend on? All those things, okay? So have a look at all that and see how you want your life to progress, right? And that'll help you make decisions moving forward. Now we're going to clarify. <clears throat> so we're going to clarify each card, okay? Alrighty. So the Six of Swords is the base card, and then we have the Chariot reversed and the Star. Okay, so I feel like you're having a hard time. It's like I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to stop. I don't want you to, you know, in your past here. I think you 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 were giving up. You were stopping. You were not dreaming anymore. You were letting go of what you believed in. Okay, so you're you know you want to rethink that maybe we kick that okay restart something all right that would be very very important okay and then to clarify the eight of cups reversed we've got the five of cups and we've got another eight of cups reversed that kind of makes it a stronger point of your indecision right this is definitely an emotional indecision here right should you stay? Should you go? You're not very happy, right? So yeah, so something definitely has to change. So you really need to really think about what you're going to do in the present, right? What you're going to do in the near future. So let's look at that further as we go along. 
but this is just solidifying that it's very important, okay? The Knight of Wands, we've got the Devil reversed, and we've got the Six of Coins reversed. So basically, it's unbalanced right now. So this relationship with this person, male or female, doesn't matter. It's very, very unbalanced, okay? I believe they have all the good stuff, and you are taking care of all the heavy stuff, okay? So you are taking care of the bad stuff, and you are taking care of all the stress, the anxiety, all of that. That needs to change, okay? This is total selfishness um, or self-serving, okay? Maybe they don't even know what you expect. Maybe you haven't told them, you know? So maybe they're just taking advantage of a situation because you let them, you know? And that very well could be, right? So yeah, so make sure that you are asking for what you need, putting things out on the line and, you know, say, hey, where are you pulling your weight, you know? So, you know, like a song I heard, you know, what have you done for me lately? You know, so think of that. OK. So then in our present situation, present energies, we have the five of wands, right? So uh, we were clarifying that with the ten of coins and the queen of cups reversed. Again, you know, being a little afraid to face our emotions, right? So presently, we're trying to hide our emotions with work, trying to bury our emotions with being busy, trying to bury our emotions with anything else but looking at the real situation, okay? And I just feel like opportunities are wonderful, but when you cover up what's going on inside you, your opportunities can go away or they can become overwhelming and you end up with nothing. You have to kind of well you don't have to but you want to try to work this out where you're in your best um state of mind that you can take advantage of these opportunities okay and there are good ones coming so anyway whoever this is either father figure or a boss let's see what they want okay this feels like it's definitely an opportunity here okay I'm going to say it's somebody that you care about. It's not just a work relationship. So whether you've known your boss for a long, long time and you actually care about them or whether it is like a father figure, it could be um, an uncle, a, a friend, the family, um, a father. Um, uh, yeah, it could be even a, a big brother, you know, that kind of person, okay, or big sister. So that kind of person, right? And I just feel like you can go to this person and you can talk to this person and they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you. They they want nothing more than to help you navigate through life, okay? So they are there for you. They are someone you can trust, you can count on, and they will give you the best advice that they know. And you may not take it, you know, you might not think that that's what you need. And that's fine. But hear them out. OK, and know whatever they say is coming from a good place. All right. And sometimes we just need validation and they're there. OK, so there you go, my dear. And then moving on, this is very much balanced here. OK, so you've got a lot of balance here. And then we've got the six of wands and we've got the wheel reversed. OK, so you have this balance. You know, you have this balance, everything practical kind of works for you. You've got this, you know, you've got the balance kind of working. Things are going well for work. It's very balanced there. I think there's opportunities coming up here and there. Pretty much very balanced. The only place that you have difficult times is decision making. You want to incorporate those ways that you make decisions for work or the way you look at work and look at home, everything at home. You need to look at relationships that way. OK, because you are putting way too much emotion into relationships where you have a hard time making decisions about them. OK, and I don't mean just about splitting up, but I mean being together, making these things work, doing these things that matter. OK, so, yeah. And try to figure out how to add more thought into how you conduct yourself in relationships rather than emotion. Okay. 
the hanged woman, that's about everything just kind of coming to a halt, right? So nothing really happening as far as making decisions in that, right? And I feel like that is, you know, we clarified that with the nine of coins and the nine of wands. So I feel you've got things you want to complete. So you either have things you want to finish, uh, things that need to be said, or things that need to be in some way completed before you can move on. OK, and that's in all areas of your life. OK, so make sure you're doing that. Make a list, you know. Yeah, if you've been procrastinating, make a list of what needs to be completed so you can clear that off your mind so that you can keep your mind to more things that um, are going to make a difference. OK. And then again, in your near future, this was, you know, looking for stability and making sure you have that stability to make de good decisions and stuff, right? And we're clarifying what the Queen of Coins reversed and the Eight of Swords reversed. <clears throat> so you have really put yourself in a position where you feel trapped, okay? So you are in the process of working your way through that, of loving your way through that, finding your way to Try to change that vision, okay? Try to change that thing in your life. And I think that's really, really good, okay? So once you make those changes and once you kind of um, give yourself permission, okay? Love yourself enough that you don't have to do um, or be where you don't want to be, Okay, so once you give yourself permission, things can change for you, all right? And then we've got the two of wands again, and we've got the five of wands, and we've got the moon. So this again could be an internal struggle that I think you're having, you know, and um, it's about um, your own kind of creativeness that you want to inspire yourself and others by. OK, maybe there's something you haven't done that you want to do travel. Maybe there's travel you want to do, but you won't you don't want to do it by yourself. Well, maybe this will push you where. Yeah, I can do that by myself. Right. The moon is all about the mysteries of life. Right. You never know what's going to happen down the road. That's going to inspire you to be or do something different. Right. And I believe you're going to find this inspiration or some of it coming to you next week like the end of this week okay so this inspiration is going to start coming to you you're going to let go of this kind of internal struggle that you have and start being able to see it as it really is right and see it as an opportunity oh and become a team player with that okay so yeah i really think that that is very very important okay so let me just gather these up and then we're going to do a little um, reading, uh, just a three card thing. Um, and I just want to touch on what your action should be, like what your next action should be. Um, you know, it's great that you have all this inspiration here, uh, but what do you do, right? And when do you do what, right? So let's get you off to a good start by telling you what something you can actually do to start improving this week okay make some kind of improvement right so we have the page of swords we have judgment week first and we have the chariot okay so these are good i like these all right so to me really the page of swords you're going to definitely be carrying a message okay this message, I think, is really, really important. You're going to be telling yourself, you're going to be telling the world, you're going to be telling somebody, okay, or many bodies, you know, but you're going to be telling people of your plans, of things that are important to you, what you're working on, where you're going. Take that chance. It gives you accountability. It also um, inspires others, right? They're, they're going to see, it's like, wow, I didn't know you even thought of that. I didn't know that was important for you. So it changes the way people view you as well. Let them in a little bit, okay? And give them a glimpse of what you're looking for to make your life better, okay? 
And I think if you can articulate that or write it down, write an article, start a blog, anything like that. Maybe you want to start a book. Whatever that is, I think it's important for you to put down, okay, on paper or on computer, but you know what I mean, in words, right? So now we are going to do the little self that scrolling by, the self-love um, uh, message, okay? So I came across these books. I've, I've, uh, I've um, acquired them. And they are by Lucy Cavendish. And the artwork is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And they do have oracle cards that you can buy with them, okay? I only have one set of oracle cards as of yet. I will get the other ones. Um, but I thought I would just use the books. They are so cute and they have really inspiring messages, okay? So we have Wisdom of Shapeshifters. We have Wisdom of the Vampires. And we have Wisdom of Shadows and Light. So I'm trying to think which one to use for your reading. And you have the sun as your main kind of overall for your reading. So I think we're going to use shadows and light. Okay. So what I've done with the other signs and I've just kind of flipped through it. And then I've kind of closed my eyes and stopped where I felt it was necessary for me to stop. Okay. So then that would be where the one I would read for you. Okay, so let me just see oh, this one. Ooh. Okay. So here we go. This is for Pisces, right? Look at the picture. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know if she's scared or what it's sad or I'm not sure, right? We'll read it anyway and see. So the witch at the end of the world speaks. I am not wicked, but I am a witch. And changes are made when the world bends and shifts. I hold this hourglass up to you now, so you know that the time for an ending is almost upon us. You can see the signs all about you. The strange weather, the hurricanes, the silicon, the uh, silicons, the earth changes all about us. But so many simple say I am wicked for showing you this. They blame me for what they call the catastrophes and they ignore the signs. They are with you and it is time to be ready. We are all about to experience a huge change and it will be for the better. But while we hold on to the odd, uh, the old, the storms will blast us and the land will shift and self-healing will look like destruction. So I guess that's being aware, right? So to me, that sounds like being very, very aware and not being so worried about what people think, but knowing what you know, you know, like taking responsibility for what you know you know, and being responsible for your actions in the world, right? That's what that reminds me of. So anyway, it was a lovely message. So we are um, going to say goodbye. <laughs> Good night. Um, it is night here right now. And I am going to say that this was lovely. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. And you are the last one. So this was really, really uh, interesting to do these zodiac greetings. I loved it. And uh, I am looking forward to more. Okay. So blessings, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. Bye for now.